मूविंग ऑन टू इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू वॉट इज देर एनी सर्फेस लेफ्ट फॉर विच वी हैव टू स्टिल फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल देर इज द सिस्टम ऑफ चार्ज विच इज माइनस क्यू एंड प्लस क्यू एंड यू कॉल इट बाई नेम इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल सो वी विल बी फाइंडिंग आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल फॉर इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल ऑन गाइज वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ पोटेंशियल एट द सेंटर ऑफ डायपोल टू क्यू टू के क्यू बाई ए एम आई राइट नो आई वॉज नॉट इट इज जीरो वाई इट इज अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी इंस्टेड ऑफ टू ए वॉट ए एंड ए नेट वोल्टेज विल बी इज इट ओके टू कॉल पोटेंशियल एज वोल्टेज और लेट मी कंफ्यूज यू मोर इज इट ओके टू कॉल पोटेंशियल एज और इज इट ओके टू कॉल पोटेंशियल वोल्टेज एज पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस I have just re-jumbled the words. You can think about it. In the meanwhile, what V1 plus V2? V1 is K Q1. This instead of Q1 minus Q upon distance A plus K Q2, which is plus Q upon distance till center is A cancels out zero. Electric potential. for the final time is a scalar quantity and you have to consider the sign of the charge whenever you do the numerical or any derive an equation all right so moving on to find the value of electric potential at any point due to a dipole minus q plus q there is a very smart way to do to do this equation what is that consider the distance from center of the dipole to be r let us say this is the point p where i have to find the value of potential okay what are the distance from minus q to p consider it to be r1 and let this to be r2 okay simple a very so we'll start with a very simple equation that is electric potential at p due to these two charges would be v1 plus v2 which is what what is the value of v1 for this k this is k then q1 upon r1 right plus k q2 upon r2 take all these common things out q upon 4 pi epsilon goes out you are left with what minus 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 that means 1 upon r2 minus 1 upon r1 this gives you what net potential is q upon 4 pi epsilon not how would you solve it r1 minus r2 upon r1 into r2 you have already done this minus b upon d is these are these terms are to be cross multiplied and denominators are to be multiplied within themselves so a into d minus b into c upon cd this was just for whom non medical students no they are also good in maths this was just in general info so 1 upon 4 q upon 4 pi epsilon not r1 minus r2 upon R one into R two. See now, I'll be using two uh, uh, two suppositions, which is actually valid in case of dipole. This diagram is actually like this. This is the this is my dipole. Can you see this? And this is the distance at which I am finding the value of potential. So what will happen to this distance and this distance? Aren't they actually equal? or at least they are at least equal to each other so write down the statement since dipole is very small first r1 is approximately equal to r2 is approximately equal to r so instead of r1 into r2 what you can write is r1 into r2 is r into r which is r square we have found a substitute for this term i want something for this as well r1 minus r2 what can you do in this diagram to find the value of r1 minus r2 can we do something 
what do we know about this diagram that this distance was 2a okay uh, this is the central distance which is to be considered majorly so considering this as a point and this distance r2 draw an arc which will be actually in a way perpendicular to all these three lines so this distance from here to here this is r2 this complete was r1 right so this left part would be r1 minus r2 this is what we are interested in finding out if this angle was theta this angle is approximately equal to theta we made an arc that means this is a right angle use cos theta base and hypotenuse what is hypotenuse here 2a so cos theta is base r1 minus r2 upon 2a that gives you what r1 minus r2 is equal to 2a cos of theta use that value here second cos of theta is r1 minus r2 upon 2a that will give you r1 minus r2 is equal to 2a cos of theta put both these values here and get the answer electric potential due to dipole is q upon 4 pi epsilon naught this point 2a cos theta some of you must be thinking right now that q into 2a is something which you already know the dipole upon r square so write the value of dipole p cos theta upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square and this is the required expression we were finding out the my only question here is okay you know the formula of potential for a single charge v is k q upon r look at this point k q upon r there is a charge there is a distance here we have dipole moment and distance square so in these two equations the si units of potential has to be equal are they or are they not they are how p itself carries a charge and a distance so one distance gets cancelled out from the square so you're left with one charge and one distance apart from the k similarly one charge and one distance and the k so yes they are equal si units are equal what is the assignment of potential joule per coulomb right if joule per, cou per coulomb is the si unit of potential what is volt then they are all same electric volt one volt is one joule per one coulomb this is how you we started our derivation today's derivation with this thing that work done per unit charge is electric potential so joule upon coulomb volts so define one volt when one uh, you can use anything first you can use one coulomb first you can use one joule first do whatever as you like when one coulomb of charge is moved so that work done is one joules then the potential is said to be one volt or in other way around when one joule of work is done in moving a charge of one coulomb then potential is said to be one volts last point what is the value of electric potential energy saved in rotating a dipole from theta 1 to theta 2 you have already done this while doing the values of dipole in our last class of electric field when this dipole minus q and plus q was rotated in the electric field from theta 1 to theta 2 what was the formula minus pe cos of theta